There we go. Yes, sir. We in this thing. We are in this thing. Let go. Shout out to everybody in the chat so far. Let me know. Does everything sound good, man? Everybody, do we sound good? Is everything a go? Blake was good, my man. Zach was good, Joe. Lore was popping. Nathan was good. Ginger was popping. Jamal was good with you, fam. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. We just hopping on, getting started. Brandon was popping, man. How y'all boys doing on this Saturday? You see I'm repping. You see I'm repping today. Devondre, we clear. What's happening? Colin B was popping my dude. We in here. We lit. That's right, Jamal. You already know what's popping, my boy. Let me go share this tweet. Who else is in here? Let's get the dub. 14 people. That's what's popping, man. That's what's good, man. Hopefully everybody's having a great Saturday so far, man. I know I am. Oh, Brandon, you got on Unk? What Unk do now? <laughs> what Unk do now? I'm an FSU fan, even though we lost. Dang, y'all lost, man? FB Scientist was good, dude. Listen, man, uh, man, y'all ain't even have to be on Nebraska like that. It, yes, we did. We had to let them know. We had to make a statement. D. Harm was good, bro. Jacob was popping. Blake was good. Texas A&M, the real deal, but Michigan State, a joke. We doing sub recruits today? No, not today, man. That's at the end of this, this upcoming season. At the end of season three, that's when we're doing recruits. North Carolina. Amir, what's popping, my boy? Beat the crap out of NC State. Louisville was one and three. Listen, man, we're one and zero. Oh. It's a great feeling to be one and zero. Oh. My boys looked great um, early or great late. They looked bad early, man. I was a little concerned. Our defense needs some work, though. Defense for real needs some work, but you know what? It's early in the season. We still want to know. Devondre, you want to be a recruit? I'll talk about that in a little bit. Rutgers winning the natty. <laughs> yeah, right. They got one. Of, they got a, a transfer from Ohio State up there now. Uh, Brandon White. River, this is your first live, man. Welcome. Nate, appreciate you, man. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the fam, too, my dude. Appreciate you guys subbing, man. We got a lot to go through today. A lot to go through today. No, no sub recruits today. Sub recruits will be at the end of season three. End of season three. We've already got backstories and everything for the recruits that are coming on campus this year. So at the end of season three, which will be the way we're uploading, man. Uh, right. Right. Uh, by the way that we're uploading and the upload schedule, man. So next month in November will be season three. That's so it will be the end of season three. That's crazy. That's crazy. We are flying through this dynasty, man. 30 people in the chat was good, man. Happy Saturday, fellas. Happy Saturday. We're going to go over, uh, since I didn't do like a recap video, we're going to go over stats. We're going to look and see who's going to win the national championship. And then uh, and then we're going to get into the offseason. Uh, the consistent uploading is immaculate. Blake, I appreciate that, man. It takes a lot, bro. It takes a lot. Uh, Should have redshirted Hunt. Nah, he's ball he balled for us, man. He helped us out a lot this year. <laughs> Tanner, I've done that so many times, bro. Touchdown, uh, touchdown, Bears. Keep up the great work and let's get four more wins next year. Big off season. I really think we could have a ball. Um, that's the plan. That's the plan. 
Plan is to get into a bowl game next season, man. We'll see, though. It all depends on what happens this year, man. Man, Ant 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 Anatoly? Anatoly Cloud, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all you guys being here. Rashad, Ohio State beat my Huskers. We didn't beat them. We <laughs> took them behind the shed. When does game one of season two start? Season two is done, man. This was season two. Uh, game one of season three will be on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So right after I get done with this live stream, man, we going straight into recording. I get I try to record at least three games over the weekend. I'm doing uh, my brother's plan for ULM, and we want to change our mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my LSU Dynasty NCAA Football 14. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's going to be a fun rebuild for you right now because they are looking like TR Rash. Hey, look, they are on that struggle bus this year. They are struggling. The turnaround with the season is real. Listen, man, I did not want to... Uh, I did not want to win early. <laughs> Colin, you're funny. <laughs> I did want to win early with this dynasty, man. I wanted to be a slow grind. Uh, we're just growing every year. I think at the end of this year, the season two, man, we really showed a lot. The squad showed a lot. Uh, so going into season three, man, it's, it's going to be, we're going to have to set the bar. Yeah, I got a Discord, man. It should be in the description. I remember that. I deleted Discord, and so I can rejoin. Yeah, man, come through, man. We have fun in Discord, bro. We talk about sports. We talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, that's where people throw in their creative players. Uh, if y'all didn't know, I uh, stream. <laughs> I try to stream a couple days out the week. Uh, and we... Uh, did like some custom recruits for all the discord guys so um yeah you guys should join the discord it's a good time uh shout out to gamecock fan i see you man what's good bro the slow grind is the best part rashad i don't know how to take that bro <laughs> that's a pause yo that's a big pause how would you make all your players so trash in season one i want to do the same thing uh you know what i'll probably make a video Showing how to do like the walk-ons and all that stuff. It's real simple. It's just tedious, man. It takes a lot of work. Uh, Billy Wilson somewhere hating facts. Uh, you know, he's already committed, man. He's going to Arkansas State, so we'll probably see him a couple times. Um, not the, not in season three, but in season four for sure. Justin Fields is looking like the Heisman favorite, in my opinion. Uh, he had a really good game today. 20 of 21. I think he had two touchdowns through the air yeah yeah i'm doing a gamecock rebuild i just finished the first win and went one and 11 only went against vandy <laughs> oh snap i'm driving and typing this was a sus comment it was <laughs> shot please don't text to drive man that's very dangerous bro that is very 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 dangerous like stop at a red light then send a message all right all right, man, it is 107. It's time to get started. Welcome, everybody, to the season two offseason, man. Our Bears finished the season strong. Four and eight. Uh, you know, I, I think I predicted five wins, five to six wins. So, you know, it's tough. But, hey, four and eight is a good look. It's better than 0-12 last season. Uh, can we play Ohio State this year? Because we're going to win because they – Ohio State is buns. Okay. Colin, that's the kind of stuff that's going to get you blocked. That's the kind, that's the, That right there, a comment like that is going to get you blocked. <laughs> Graham Mertz, though, he built different. Uh, Graham Mertz. Is he a running back? Somebody we played against this year? Or is that the Wisconsin quarterback? I don't know who that is. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at our season stats. Uh, we just wrapped up the, se the season on Thursday. Uh, listen, 
we had to take the red shirt off of Larry Johnson, man. We need somebody who could come in and uh, throw the ball. And he did a, a solid job for us, man. 108 completions out of 190 attempts, 1,700 yards, uh, 11 touchdowns, and he did 13 interceptions. Uh, this guy, you know, we, we had high expectations for him coming in. I think he lived up to him. Uh, I think he did a great job, uh, you know, getting the ball out. He's got a stronger arm than what RT has. So he did a good job, man, uh, as a freshman. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in the spring, though. Uh, we've got two red shirt quarterbacks that are going to be looking for playing time that are going to be a lot better than what LJ is. So we'll see. Uh, RT, interesting situation with RT, man. Uh, he completed 71 balls out of 133 attempts, 1,007 yards through the air, seven touchdowns with eight interceptions. Again, this dude is just an athlete, man. You know, he he has his moments where he, show, where he like, shines and he does great things. And then he has his low moments where he'll throw four interceptions in a game. Um, you know, what's the future hold for Randy? We'll have to look and see this offseason. Uh, we've got – a running back that's coming in. We've got a running back that's coming off an injury. Um, is he going to be moved to a running back? Is he going to have to switch positions? I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. But talk about the uh, talk about the run game, man. RT did his thing. RT was balling in the run game, and that's why I'm 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 kind of up in the air about what we're going to do with him. Uh, he carried the ball 136 times this year, 817 yards, 18 rushing touchdowns. That is insane. Uh, you know, we relied a lot on his legs. Once we figured out the two quarterback situation and he was our running back, pretty much our running quarterback, he dominated. Um, check on Lloyd Floyd uh, offseason. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't we need we don't need Billy Wilson. He's gone. He's already transferred out. Uh, moving a wide receiver, he just doesn't have the traits to be a wide receiver. If anything, he does have traits to be a running back. He would just be a very poor running back. I got a couple ideas. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that once once we get into the off season. Uh, Larry Johnson, he was second on the team, four hundred thirty four yards, five touchdowns. Um, he did a great job running the ball as well. Didn't realize he was so mobile like that. Uh, Justin Smith, he came on towards the end of the season, 92 carries, 355, seven scores. Uh, this this hurt. When Jonathan Keyes went down, I was hurt, man, because I, I was expecting big things out of him. Uh, 29 carries, 178 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, we tried to move Marcus Brock around a little bit, get him in the backfield. He really didn't produce that much as a running back. Uh, seven carries for 14 yards. And then Mark Smith, uh, the – Fourth string running back, third string, fourth string running back, four carries, 11 yards, and a touchdown. Watch you get fired again. Colin, why are you being so, like, negative, bro? We're not going to get fired. Our our stuff is fine. We're good. Uh, do you know where I could get NCAA football 14 for a good price and not $100? Uh, Fat Badger, I'm not sure, man. Um, I've got two copies. <laughs> and I got mine early. So uh, you could probably – Find one on like in a if you have like a like a gaming store like a GameStop or something like that around your house, um, I think that you should be able to find one there. How's the original Randy Thomas doing? I don't know. Brock looks like he meant for slot facts. So that's what we're getting into. Uh, receiving our receivers did a great job this year, man. Marcus Brock, as a true freshman, led the team forty four catches. 555 yards, one touchdown, though. Next season, I want to get that up, man. I think he's a vital weapon for us. Uh, I think he is uh, a great player, man. I think he's going to be a solid slot receiver for us. Uh, Nick, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream, fam. Uh, shout out to Infinite Effect for the follow. I don't know if that means subscribed or if he just followed the Twitch stream. I don't know. I just bought one for 100 but it doesn't work, so I watched a lot. Of, oh, my God. That sucks, man. Uh, River, we run a – what do we run? Four two five right now? Uh, but I think we're going to switch to a 4-3 base. Uh, Vic Johnson, 
Nice year, man. 40, 40 catches, 527, two touchdowns. Keith Miller, this dude's a star, man. His his catches went down this year, 37 grabs, but 795 yards and seven touchdowns. And he's only a 61 overall. So that means he's only going to get better from here, man. I'm excited to see what he go, what he's going to do in his junior year. Uh, A.J. Thompson came on big this year, 28 grabs, 555, four touchdowns. Uh, Tyler Hill, 16 grabs, 145 as a true freshman. And then Joe Barnes. This guy made a lot of clutch catches for us, man, like for real. Five catches, 105 yards, four touchdowns. So four out of his five catches were touchdowns this year. I think this group is just going to get better. We've got a couple receivers on our recruiting board, um, and it's just going to add more depth to the squad. Uh, let me catch up on some things. Uh Keith Miller is going to be a fifth round pick. Facts. Um, Colin. Yeah, I think this year I'm not going to switch. We'll talk about that, though. We'll talk about that. Uh, GameStop runs them for $80. Your best bet is pawn shops. FB Marketplace. That's smart. Uh, run 4-3 multiple. That's an idea. Um, petition for new corners. We've got to cut. We've listen, man. I, I think our secondary is going to be better next year, man. Either let my boy RT two run the team, or do right by him and let him ball somewhere else. I feel you, uh, but that's what we ran in high school. Hope I can get a player uh, recruited. Yeah, we're gonna do custom recruits at the end of next season, man. Let's look at uh, the offensive line. Vince Smith at right guard gave up seven sacks this year, man. Uh, Meyer gave up four. Trey Simpson gave up four. Andrew Woods. I, listen, man, We there, there were people in the comments of every video that said Andrew Woods was playing great. He did have a good season as a true freshman, man. He only gave up four sacks, and uh, Valentine gave up four sacks. Again, this is an all – look at this. Everybody on the offensive line is a freshman. Is a freshman. So they're only going to go up. I'm excited to see what training does for these guys. Uh, we've got two two offensive linemen coming in this year that might push for starting positions because they're just that good. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, Billy Wilson, blowout season four. Are you going to try to make custom classes and bring Arkansas A&M? Yes. That is the plan. Uh, run the offense, that the offensive playbook, offensive corner playbook, but with your own twist. Okay. I'm excited to see what Ruben Taylor and David Jones. I'll be honest. Facts. O-line going to get better. Yep. Got to get back to work, but I'll catch up later. Have a good day. All right, Devondre, appreciate you coming through, bro. On the defensive side of the ball, this kid right here, I can't, I can't talk bad about him anymore, man. Robert Thomas has become a star in college football. A star. Led the team with 63 tackles. Uh, he had three sacks, three interceptions. I think he had two pick sixes. Yeah, two touchdowns on defense, man. This guy is a beast. You hear me? And, again, with a good offseason this year, man, he's going to just keep going up and cl keep climbing up uh, and getting recognition. He's on the best linebacker uh, best linebacker award list and the Bednarik award list. So, He's getting recognition already. Uh, Jay Newell let, or was second on the team with 40 tackles. Ken Anderson as a true freshman, 39 tackles. Jason Davis, 36 tackles. Good to see him getting some playing time. Tyson Kidd, true freshman, man, 33 tackles, three sacks. Uh, going into season two, he's going to have a larger role for sure. Uh, Mark Prince, he got burnt a lot, man, which had me concerned Going into next season, 32 tackles. He had one interception that kind of sealed the game for us. Um, you know, I'm hoping that training gets him a little bit better, a little bit faster. Uh, he is a zone cover. So I think he might be better fitted, like, in the slot than in man coverage on the outside. Uh, we have a guy coming in that's going to gonna be a starter day one. Uh, and I think he's going to play that outside corner position next to Michael Davis man this guy right here I'm excited for him next year Michael Davis had 29 tackles one interception on the year uh Travis Gibson had 24 tackles and a pick 
And then David Hunt, everybody kept saying we should have redshirted uh, David Hunt. 24 tackles and four sacks as a junior. Uh, he's a 78 overall right now. Training, he's going to go up to an 80 plus. Shout out to Daniel in the building. I appreciate it. Uh, what do you think about the new NCAA possibly coming out? They're pushing for players to get paid for their likeness. It'd be dope, man. We need a new game. It's been way too long. Nathan, what up, my guy? Appreciate you being here. Blake uh, was good. You think you could make it to a bowl game next year? That's the goal, man. That's the goal. We got to make a bowl game in season three. Uh, let's look at the QB pressure. Uh, shout out to Rashad Young, another freshman making an impact. He had four sacks. Like we said, Hunt had four. Tyson Kidd had three. Rob had three. Uh, Jason Burns, big D tackle. He had one. So did Seth Williams, Nick Burrell, and then James Ryan. We didn't even really talk about Ryan too much, man. I think going into next season, uh, he'll have a larger role as well, uh, especially with switching our defense. Uh, we'll be able to utilize our linebackers a lot more. I think they have great speed and Ryan has great zone coverage. So look for him to get a lot more playing time. Turnover, turnover wise. We talked about it. Rob had three picks, Jason Davis, Prince, uh, Mike Davis, Gibson, and Newell each had one interception. Uh, that 91 yarder, man. Y'all remember that, that overtime game? Psh, wow. Nathan, did, did you really just ask me if I saw Ohio that Ohio State game? Did you see my T-shirt? Let me let me let me puff my chest up real quick, man. I saw that beat down, bro. I saw that beat down. Uh, let's see what we look at. Force fumbles. We had two force fumbles. Noel and Jason Davis forced two. Uh, Mike Davis. The reason he's got three is because we took a lot of uh, field goals missed out of the end zone. David Hunt uh, recovered a fumble. And we had two defensive touchdowns by Robert Thomas. This thing is going to lag a minute for kicking. Clemson was up 26-21, then went on a 20-0 run. That's a good team, man. Uh, freshman kicker Kelly Clark, 2-4 uh, of four on field goals this year, uh, as long as it was 38. Perfect on extra points. Um Again, he's just going to get better. I Like, I made the decision not to kick too many field goals because his leg just isn't that strong. Punt-wise, uh, Moore punted the ball, the ball 14 times for 524. Returns. Um, I'm looking for a new kickoff returner, man. Mark Prince just didn't do it for me. Uh, 33 returns, 783 yards. Uh, no touchdowns. Now, like he had a couple of good returns. He had one for 51 yards. It wasn't too bad. Uh, Jay got a couple of ones here, four for 77. But as you can see, I was trying to find guys, man, that just – but, you know, Prince was the fastest guy on the roster. Same with punts. Like, this is ridiculous. We didn't get any punt return yards at all, man. So, we're definitely going to be looking for special team players going into season three. So, those are the stats. Not bad, man. Like I said, we we've we uh definitely climbed up a lot from where we were after season one. <laughs> I'm listen, I'm a I'm a you're gonna have to wait and see. Shad, you're gonna have to wait and see, man. Uh here are the standards in the sub belt. I'll be trying to give away my storylines, bro. Uh here's the standards in the sub belt. Uh, Troy, Arkansas State, and Lafayette, man, nine and three. Top of the Sun Belt. You got Georgia State and uh, South Alabama, both seven and five. New Mexico State finished six and six. They're not going to make it to a bowl because they lost to us. Way to ruin a season. I love it. Uh, then you got Texas State, four and eight. We're sitting at four and eight, three and six in conference this year, which is awesome. Idaho's 2-10, and 10, and ULM is 1-11. and 11. So, you know, listen, man, we did a great job turning, the, turning the, the dynasty around, man. Four wins, three of them win conference. It's, it's, that's, that's a pretty good season, man. And, not, and, and here's my thing. The biggest win of the year for me is beating Arkansas at the beginning of the year. Can we go back and look at that? This was the biggest, like – what? 
beating the Razorbacks at the beginning of the year. They finished seven and five, man. Five and three in the SEC. This this game, man, like I was so hyped. I knew we we could do a, something this year uh, after this game. We we did a good job passing the ball. We did an even better job running the ball. And that's just how you set the tone for the season, man. Like we – I think we're on the verge of something special at a and man. Uh, bro, what's good, man? Blake, I don't know if you have said it, but are y'all moving conferences once all you good enough to play in the Power Five? Um, so somebody brought that up. I think we will switch conferences. Um, I, I want to get at least two – or three Sunbelt Conference titles before we switch conferences. Just to make it realistic, man. I don't want to just, we win one and then we just bounce. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, that's not how it works. It would be cool if you add your players going to the draft. Yeah, man. Uh, that's exactly what we're planning on doing, Badger. Yeah, that's exactly the plan, man. Uh, once we start getting players drafted, <laughs> Uh, that's the plan. Uh, let's hop in. Let's let's sim ahead. Let's go into bowl season. Shout out to the 52 people in the building, man. I appreciate you guys being here today. Big off season, man. Dang, Bama's up 14 nothing already. I swear, I just looked up. Like I started the stream, it was zero zero. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, join the Discord, man. Link is down in the description. Oh, and I started a Patreon too, guys. A lot of you guys were asking for me to start a Patreon, and I did. Uh, that link should be down in the description too. Uh, come through, join the Patreon. 12 and 0 next year? Nah, man. Nah. Nick, what's good, my dude? Welcome to the stream, fam. No, nah, we're not going to go 12 and 0 next year. All right, Heisman winner is James Cook from Georgia. Big year, 1,413 yards rushing, 17 touchdowns, two receiving touchdowns. Okay. Another running back heavy Heisman group, man. FSU, Bama, Florida, Miami. Okay. You're watching from South Dakota. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you being here, man. Hey, where's everybody from? Drop your state. Where are you guys from? I'm out here in Nevada. I'm in Vegas. Love to see where you guys are from, man. Seven to five at best, I would say. Okay. Best Texas Longhorns. That's my squad. Yeah, I lived in Austin for a little bit, man. I'm I'm a uh I have love for the I have love for the Longhorns. Uh go dogs. New York is in the house. Michigan, ugh. 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 South Carolina, Colorado, Georgia, New York, South Carolina, Jersey's in the building, uh, North Carolina, Florida, Kentucky, Texas, South Carolina, but Georgia Bulldog fan, that's what's up, first time here, Steel is from Florida, I see you, the SIP is in the building, uh, Southern England? That's what's up, man. Pennsylvania, New Mexico, Iowa, Kansas, H-Town, Savannah, uh, South Carolina, Mississippi again, Kentucky, the ATX, go Denver. I see you. Shout out to Denver. I lived there for a minute too. Uh, Kentucky, Clemson, Austin, Texas, one of my favorite cities, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm from AZ, but I'll be in Vegas. I'll be in Vegas 24-7. I used to live... In Aliante, nice man. Okay, I got a. I, uh, that's where my family. Some of my family lives out that way. That's what's up, man. Good to see where everybody's from, man. I love seeing that stuff. All right, um, what are we looking at first, guys? You want to look at? Uh, let's look at all Americans first. South Kakalaki, Hendon Hooker, first team All S N C A A quarterback. A lot of Georgia guys 
dang, the whole left side of Georgia's offensive line and their center. That's crazy. Uh, none of our guys on the first team. DTR, second team quarterback. Did they bring back custom teams? No. Am I a Raider fan? No. I'm from. I'm originally from Chicago, so I'm a Bears fan. I've been a fan for a while, and I love that you're growing so much. Colin, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that so much, man. Um. Oh, oh! Second team All-American, Rob Thomas. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, man, I told you, this kid is something special, man. He's the quiet leader of that defense. And to get second team All-American from a small school, that's a big deal, man. That is a huge deal. Uh, man, that's a big deal. Do we get any freshmen? Nope, no freshmen. All right, let's look at the S, the Sun Belt. Golden Knights fan. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I mean, it's, it's I, when I watch hockey, yeah. Harold was good, man. Shout out to Wifey in the building. I see you. Cowboy fan right here. What's up, Matic? Yo, 70 overall is coming. Facts. Look at the boy Rob. Exactly, man. Everybody was talking bad about Rob going into the season, man. And he just, he's showing flashes, bro. All right, here's first team, all Sun Belt. Nobody on offense. Rob on defense, man. First team All American or first team All Sun Belt. He's the only player, man. We get anybody on second team? Yo, how is uh how's our wideout out up here? How? Michael, what's good, man? Bro, that's crazy. Our wideout didn't make it. That's bogus, bro. Oh, he's going to play pissed off football now. I love it. Um, what else we got? Um, award winners. Let's see. Rob is cold. No cap facts. Colin, talk to him, man. If there's 58 people in here, man, we need to have 58 likes. Make sure you guys hit that like button right now. Shit, uh, shot. I hope so, man. All right. Trey Sanders wins the Maxwell. Also wins the Walter Camp. Uh, Joe Tryon from Washington wins the Ben Narek. Rob finished sixth, yo. Wow. Wow. Uh, the Nagurski went to DeMonte Russell. Uh, the O'Brien, Emery Jones. That's what's up, man. Former Buckeye commit. Did you wait? Whoa, he beat out Trevor Lawrence. Trevor finished third. <laughs> I love your college team, man. Appreciate it, man. You always play with FSU and Notre Dame. Uh, the Doak Walker went to Kalan LeBourne uh, from Florida State. Belitnikoff, Treshawn Harrison from Florida State. FSU must have had a good offense this year. Uh, the Mackey, the tight end award, goes to Devin Miller from Marshall. We are. Uh, shout out to Trey Hill from Georgia. He runs the Outland. He also wins the Remington. Wow, two awards for him. The Lombardi goes to Tyree Johnson from A&M. Texas A&M. Best linebacker goes to Joe Tryon. Uh, and then Rob finished eighth in that one, man. But, like, look at what it – again, look what's ahead of him. He is a sophomore and nothing but seniors and juniors ahead of him. So that means next season, if he has another year like this, he's going to be at the top of the boards, man. Easy. Thorpe goes to Christian Young, the strong safety from Arizona. The Groza, Seth Small from Texas A&M. The Guy Award goes to Dustin Cobbs from the team up north as a true freshman. Wow. And Barrett Bannister wins your returner of the year. Okay. That's cool. Let's see the bowl games, man. Here are the final bowl games. Let's see if we see any of our conference guys. Troy taking on uh, UTSA in the New Orleans Bowl. Um, oh, that should be a good game. USC, Oklahoma State. That should be a good one. 
South Alabama taking on Georgia Tech in the Advocare Bowl. Miami, oh, taking on Lafayette in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Um, anybody else? Auburn Clemson, that should be a good game. Georgia State taking on Penn State in the heart of Dallas Bowl. Uh, look at Arkansas going to the Gator Bowl to take on the team up north. Two teams that I can't stand playing against each other. I hope they both lose. <laughs> Have I thought about RT taking kickoff return duties? No, uh, because he is slow. He's not like he's quarterback fast, but he's not any other position fast. Uh, Tennessee taking on Indiana. The Outback Bowl, Bama and Nebraska. It's good to see Bama not in the title game. The Rose Bowl is Ohio State and UCLA. Fiesta Bowl, Texas, Florida State. That should be a good game. Sugar Bowl is Florida and Cincinnati. How is Cincinnati? Oh, I guess I got three losses. Orange Bowl, Vitek and Oklahoma. Cod Bowl is A&M and Iowa State. Compass Bowl, Tulane and Illinois. Central Michigan takes on A-State in the GoDaddy.com Bowl. Uh, Enormous Sand, what's good, man? No, you haven't missed anything yet. Just going over stats. And then the BCS National Championship game, Washington versus Georgia. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. All right, guys, so that – going to do it for all the season stuff i think we'll sim ahead we'll see who wins the bowl games all right listen he's not going anywhere rt2 is not going anywhere what's your favorite game you've played with the bears so far probably uh it's either the arkansas game or that overtime game versus was that ulm where rob picked it off those are those are definitely up on the board. Um but RT2 is not going anywhere, man. Randy's not going anywhere. He uh he has a vital role on this team. Uh it's just now what where does he fit in with these two other quarterbacks that will be coming off of their red shirt? Faster fastest player on the team is uh Mark Prince, the corner. <laughs> George is in the, in the natty that will never happen you're not lying there my friend yo 58 people in here man appreciate you guys being here real talk y'all been going ham with the views and the likes and the comments on this series it, I, I I really do appreciate it man I'm glad everybody's enjoying it so far I'm enjoying uh, creating everything and yeah it's been a fun run and it's just getting started, man. We're only two seasons in, bro. We're only two seasons in. Justin Fields look like the Heisman winner so far, man. 20 of 21. Wow. I think Randy is getting special treatment because of his pops. Okay. Uh... Love the videos. Appreciate that, Brian. Uh, that's a little mean. I, listen, I don't think he's getting favorite. He got benched. If you look at it at the beginning of the year or when he got pulled, he got benched. Georgia can make it to the Natty at some point. We had a few. We made it a few years ago. Facts. I wish they made a NCAA football twenty-one. Me too, man. Me too. All right, let's see. Anybody, uh, any upsets here? Uh, Troy lost. Um, good Lord, Georgia Tech put up 50 on South Alabama. Yikes. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What did Auburn do? Clemson beat Auburn. Georgia State lost. Man, we are over so far. Over. Gator Bowl, Arkansas beat the team up north. 
Indiana, Bama lost to Nebraska. Wow. Ohio State lost to UCLA. Wow. Florida State beat Texas. Florida barely got past Cincy. Vitek beat Oklahoma. Iowa State beat Texas A&M. Uh, nobody cares about that one. Oh, okay, Arkansas State. 44. Sheesh. And then your national champs, the Georgia Bulldogs. Did Michigan State lose to Rutgers? Haven't checked the score in a while. Oh, I don't know. Um, you should bring in RT as an OC after he graduates. Uh, I've I've got a kind of got a storyline for Randy after he gets out of school. I'll be playing this as soon as I get my Xbox Series X. Can't wait. Dope man, Randy gets. Randy plays best coming off the bench, hands down, won the games for the Bears in that row. Facts. When is the Bears undefeated? When is the Bears undefeated season at? Uh, not anytime soon, man. Not anytime soon, Brian. It's not going to be a cap. Uh, right. I've only won four games so far with this team, man. So it's going to be interesting. Our rivals are UConn because of the team that I got rid of. What do I think of Trey Lance? Uh, I think he has a great arm. I think that he will be a solid quarterback in the NFL once he gets some playing time. All right, I think we're good, man. I think we get ready for the offseason, fellas. What y'all think? Let's do it. <clears throat> Have I watched Last, Last Chance You all the time, man? That's one of my favorite shows on Netflix. Hey, got some coaching upgrades. I like it. Yeah, I play this on PS3, man. It's my joint. All right, here we go. I told you, we're not going nowhere. We safe, bro. We're safe. Four and eight. You know, we finished 0-12 last year. We're good. We're good. Let's get it. We are in the offseason, baby. Coaching carousel, I don't see any of our coaches really leaving. Uh, I don't see uh, us getting fired. I don't think that uh, the offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator are going anywhere, hopefully. So let's just go ahead and jump to players leaving. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Jones got that turf monster after him, bro. Grabbed him by, that, uh, by his toe. He should have scored on that. We need a new DC. Yeah. I, I but again, this is you guys gotta remember, man. This is our going into our third year. All the coaches are brand new. Um, we're still trying to find our identity on offense and defense. So, you know, it's gonna take some time for everything to gel. I'm at work watching you. Appreciate it, Nick. Don't get fired, man. I can't pay your bills. <laughs> uh coaches change coach changes. Let's see. Anything for us? Nope. We're good. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to lose. I think we were going to lose anything. A state lost their defensive coordinator. They fired him and brought him back. Okay. Um, Lafayette has a new head coach. Uh, new Mexico State has a new head coach. And who's that? Troy has a new head coach. Okay. Oh, ULM does too. Interesting. Sixty people in here, man. That's what's up. Randy Thomas will be an NFL coach in the Panthers franchise. Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, man. Let's just hope and pray. We don't have anybody wanting to transfer. Whew. Okay. Okay. Nobody's leaving. We're a young team still, man. We're still a young team. Facts. Shot. I just thought about that. That is very true. He couldn't beat us, so he lost his job. Um. All right. Let's see if anybody, like, decided to declare early. 
So far, nothing but seniors. None but seniors. Wow. You know, it's so weird that juniors can leave and so redshirt sophomores can leave, but I never see them. There's one. Jalen Phillips, defensive end, Miami. Nicobe Dean, a redshirt sophomore, six round pick. Emory Jones declared. Wow. He's staying, staying. Seniors. Okay. Oh, Chad? Chad, got you. Got you. I got you. My fault, man. I'm terrible with names, bro. If you watch the uh if you watch any of the, my series, I have a hard time pronouncing people's names. Traylon Burks declared uh, he's from Arkansas. So that's one less person we gotta worry about next season. Zach Harrison from the he declared. Okay. There's a lot of people that declare for this draft. But we're good. All right, man. So we got nobody leaving. We've got nobody trying to transfer. Um, now let's see if we get any transfer requests, though. What's my favorite season of Last Chance U? I'm going to be honest with you. This last season was pretty good. This last season was really good, man. Um but, like, I always go back and look at, like, the first couple seasons of that show, and it's like the idea behind it was pretty great. All right, draft results. Again, we have nobody getting drafted, um, so we're good there. Uh, but here's here's going to be something interesting, man. Last year we had two quarterbacks transfer, a tight end, and a defensive lineman. So, uh, do you think that we're going to get anybody this time? How do you think your transfers from last season will play? I think there'll be a big impact, a big impact. I know you want to grow slow with this team, but I got an idea recruiting. Get one superstar on both sides of the ball, but if he signs with another team, you have to replace him with a two-star. That's not bad. 67 people in here. What's good, man? All right, let's check it out. Transfer request. And we're getting a corner, and I'm not taking this fullback. We don't we don't play with fullbacks. But Chauncey Craft from Lafayette, Louisiana, 5'10", 187, 69 overall. Let's see what we get, man. Ooh, okay. 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 80 agility. The man coverage is at a 76, which isn't too bad. The zone coverage, though, 83 zone. I like it. 75 press at 5'10", 187, 70 play rec, 65 tackle, 88 jump, 74 hit power. Yo. Yo. That's not bad, man. I'll take that. Just add more depth to the secondary. Are you able to create a player on your team? So uh, let me get through this, and I'll talk about that. He's a bit slow, but not bad. Yeah, he could play free safety. And just think about this, man. He's His stuff is going to go up because he's going to get training, too. So he's going to be faster by the time he gets ready to play. Uh, All right, man. So we got a solid corner transfer in, transferring in from Maryland. How are you going to use these quarterbacks? That's a good question. That's, that's, a, that's a good question, man. Um... Right now, obviously, LJ has the, the uh, inside track just because he played last season. RT2, this would be his third year in the offense. Uh, but these two other quarterbacks, man, it's the spring game is going to be important, man. How these boys play in spring ball is going to be sheesh. Big C, you need to get – you need that superior QB and at some point, brother. At some point. Facts. Facts. And I think next – is it next year? Two years because he's a sophomore. The kid we were looking at in uh, in that recruiting special, man, I think he might be that guy. He might be that guy for us. Just bought one on eBay just for this game. My guy. <laughs> All right. 
to recruiting we go, man. We've got some some decisions to make. We've got 12 scholarships left, but let's look and see what we've got so far. Um, we got a guard, Joe Rhodes, from Pasadena, Texas, 6'5", 271. Adding more depth to that offensive line. 76 pass blocks, 75 run, 70 impact. Uh, I like I like that. You know what I mean? Especially because we had such a hard time uh, blocking people this season, especially on the right side. Uh, Eric Kirby from Arkansas, right there in our backyard, 6'3", 308. Another guard for us. Uh, 74 pass, 77 runs, 73 impact. Uh, again, another big body, 79 strength. He might get redshirted this year. Kyle Wilson, strong safety. We need that secondary help. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 6'2", 198 from Kentucky. Uh, 82 speed, 81 agility, 88 acceleration, 74 zone coverage. So my plan with him is to make him a like a dime linebacker or a nickel linebacker uh, with 74 man or 74 zone coverage. That's going to help us out a lot. He's just a lot slow. Not a little slow, a lot slow. 82 speed is is too slow to play in the uh, secondary. Um, how do you come up with the concept of the team and the name? Does Coach Thomas have any high school kids? Yeah, I love playing this year. Um, no, Coach only has two two kids. Um, he does have a nephew though. And we'll talk. You'll 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 meet him next season. Um, and then, what was the other question? How did I come up with the concept of the team and the name? So the team I found in Team Builder. Uh, just going through, and just found it. And the Black Bears was such a fitting name, man. And I was able to work with somebody to come up with a graphic. That's the logo that you guys see on every thumbnail. Um. And it just kind of took off from there, man. Didn't want to wait to November 10th anyway. Got both those games waiting. That's what's up, man. Uh, another free – this is a free safety. John McIntosh from California, 6'4", 207. Great size, man. 89 speed, 90 agility, 92 acceleration. He can tackle. Uh, the zone coverage needs some work, but look at that press. He's got 79 press. Uh I'm excited to get him on campus. We need help at free safety. Ken Anderson's good, but I want to upgrade that position. Uh, we might be able to shift McIntosh over to strong safety. Here's our back. We're going to have three good running backs next year, man. Corey Gonzalez from California. Six foot 207. Three-star prospect, man. This guy, I'm excited. 91 speed. The agility is kind of eh. Acceleration, Okay. But the break tackle, the elusiveness, the stiff arm, spin move, juke. And he can catch the ball out of the backfield. Team him up with Smith and Keys next season. We've got a three-headed monster in the running back room, man. And I'm I'm excited. I've been dying for a running game. Is Team Builder working again? No, but there is a option in with soon like your load menu. If you go to I think it's team management. And go all the way to the bottom. It says Team Builder. You're able to search the teams that have already been uploaded to the game. Uh, we talked about Corey Gonzalez. Defensive line is Calvin Mullins, uh, 6'5", 250 from Illinois. Again, just adding more depth to that defensive line. 73 speed. I love the finesse move, the hit power, the pursuit. Another good get for us. Outside linebacker help with Charles Park, 6'4", 213 from uh, Pearland, Texas. I think this is the guy I was thinking about. Yeah. I'm thinking about moving him down to defensive end. Uh, he's a 3-4 pass rusher, 75 speed, 80 finesse move, 68 block shed, though. But look at that zone coverage, 75 zone coverage. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might move him down to DN, like our rush package, put him on the edge. He'll get past the D tackle easy. Uh, a corner, another corner, man. We've got, we're getting a couple corners in this class, man. This is Kevin Davis from California, six two one seventy nine. California has become like a uh, pipeline for us. Ninety two speed, eighty nine agility, eighty four acceleration. Uh, coverage is is solid. Seventy five man, seventy eight zone. 
doesn't have great press, but I think, you know, either he might get a red shirt or he might play early. It just depends on how the roster fills out. Uh, but if he gets red shirted, he'll come back next year and be a tough player for us. Then you got Kyle Walton from Mississippi, a big tackle, 6'6", 288. Another great find by co- by the coaching staff. 82 pass blocks, 75 run, 74 impact. Uh, he'll be the next in line at left tackle for sure. For sure. Bo Reynolds, the big, the big DM from Vermont, 6'3", 254. Uh, again, I was looking for somebody who could come in and bring immediate pass rush help. And with a 79 power move, 78 block shedding, 76 tackle, a 77 hit power, we're going to be getting after the quarterback next season. Oh, facts, man. Facts enormous. We're going to be – the secondary is going to be a lot better. Uh, the offensive line is going to be better too. John Carrington from Mississippi, 6'3", 306. Another great find, 79 pass block, 79 run block, 83 impact. Uh, this was the guy I was talking about. He might push for a starting job at one of the guard positions next season. I was lucky game stop. Okay. You guys still talk about fighting the game. This guy right here. This is who I'm excited about. Mark Lawson from Florence, Alabama. 5'11", 207. Our first athlete on the roster, okay? And... Listen, 90 speed, 91 agility, 87 acceleration. Um, he could play running back or corner. And I honestly think he's going to play corner for us because he's got 86 man, 81 zone coverage. The press, not really there. But I, he might play both sides of the ball for us, man. Real talk. He might have like a package where it's going to be him and RT in the backfield. I, I It's just... He's just too good to just let sit on the sideline. Um, Yeah, 78 elusiveness, 75 juke move, 85 spin move. Sheesh. Can we get an Arkansas A&M basketball team? Uh, Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I have uh, March Madness 08. I would have to find, uh, what is it, NCAA basketball 10 or something or whatever it is. I had to find that, and that's one of those games where you got to pay like $100 to have, too. Uh, free safety, we got another one. This is Nathan Johnson from Ohio, 6'3", 205. Another big free safety. 88 speed, 87 agility, 89 acceleration, and he can tackle. Uh, 75 tackle. He's got decent zone coverage, great press. Uh, again, I'm actually looking for a strong safety, and – this guy has the traits to be a, a solid, strong safety for us. Lawson sounds like he could be your return man. Facts. Mark Lawson is a mini prime time. No, I don't think it's that. I don't think he's that good yet. Think of RT2 and Lawson. And Watt. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. All right. So here is the rest of the board. We've got a defensive end. This is James Riley from Louisiana. Uh, another corner, Jamie Brown. Uh, from South Carolina, uh, outside linebacker Shane Young from Georgia, Billy Harrington, a transfer JUCO wide receiver from Montana, another wide out, and uh, Shane Johnson from Virginia, John Rodriguez, a defensive end from Kentucky, uh, a couple middle linebackers here, David Booth from Louisiana, and uh, Adam Williams from Louisiana, and then you got T.J. Lawson, another transfer uh, from Pennsylvania. Honestly. I want – these are the players that I'm looking at. Um, like this. I can't remember. 82 speed, yeah. Him. This guy I can go without. I can go without him. And I think TJ Lawson, I was looking at him. So these top six – He's top seven. <coughs> He's top seven. That's who I'm really looking at. Um, just adding more depth. Not prime, but you could think about him as strong safety with his size. Facts. He could be a um, – th- I'm thinking Jabril Peppers. 
he's like a Jabril, a Jabril Peppers type, man. Get all the receivers. You need weapons. Um, I think if I get these two, Harrington and Lawson, I think we'll be good. I'm looking at the defense side of the like, defense is like one one side of ball. I'm really looking at tough because we were struggling this year. Um, I think James Riley is a must get. I'm gonna put a thousand on him right now. Actually, I'm gonna put fifteen hundred on him. And then Harrington, um, he's solid, eighty-seven speed. 80 agility. He's like a possession receiver. Um, I'm going to put a thousand on him. I can't wait till we go up in like points where we can add that 15,000. Yo, Roland, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream, fam. Uh, John Rodriguez, another defensive end that is going to be solid for 75 speed. Uh, we might be able to kick him inside on certain packages. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put like 800 on him. He's solid, but he's not like a must get player. You know what I mean? David Booth from Louisiana. Uh, I'm looking for more depth on that, in that linebacker group. 79 speed is kind of slow, uh, but again, he'll be sitting this year behind um, Rob. What level is the coach? I think he's like level. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to lie to you. We'll look in a second, though. I'll put a thousand on this kid. Jamie Brown, corner 6'3, 175, great size, 90 speed, 86 agility, 89 acceleration. Again, the zone coverage, man coverage, could use some work, but you know, I think he's he's a must get. I'm gonna put eight hundred on him. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of points left. Shane Young, I need I want him. I'm I'm putting points on him. Yeah, I think the defense going into season three, man, we're gonna see a, a big upgrade for these guys. I'm put 1500 on him. And then TJ Lawson is an interesting situation, man. I, I think he could come in. Uh, I might redshirt him. Because he could, I think he might be one of our fastest wide receivers with 89 speed. The catching can use some work. The release can use some work. But he's got decent route running. And we're in a battle right now. So I'm going to put, let's go... I'll go 2,000 on him. I hate, like, going into the offseason with this many players um, still on my board. Uh, Big C, you ever think about a FSU or Notre Dame dynasty? No. No. I, I like I, I like the idea of it, but both of those schools have big traditions on this game, and it's going to be easy to get, like, five-star recruits for the team. I think Georgia is going to come and take Young, no matter how many points you put on them. <coughs> Excuse me. You think so? Well, let's make sure that does not happen. And I'll take some of these off of him. I I, I think Shane Young is going to be an impact player, if not th this year, next year for sure. If not season three, season four for sure. And TJ Lawson is a project, yeah. But we've got time. If you get over 3,000 points, Lee, you usually have it locked in already. Might be wrong. Works for me, though. Yeah, here's the thing. I, I don't want – because that's an SEC school. All those schools are bigger schools. Those are, like, top-tier schools right there. If they are really interested in him, they're going to put a lot of points into him. A lot of points into him. 
Now these guys, I'm 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 good off of these guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, 87 speed, 72 agility. I'll pass on that. Uh, same with Adam Williams, 79 speed, uh, 66 agility, 76 tackle. I think the that David Booth has better intangibles. Uh, and he kind of fits my playing style better. Um, so yeah, I think that's it, guys. I think. What do you guys think? Screen passes are way too easy to pick off in this game. Facts. Facts. But it, it makes it fun, though. 2,000 on Riley. 1,000 on Harrington. 800 on Rodriguez. 1,000 on Booth. Uh, 800 on Brown. 2,650 on Shane Young. Because I, I agree. I think Georgia might put some points into him. And then 1,700 on Lawson. I think we're good, man. Booth might need more. LSU is on your back. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's take from him then. We'll take from here. I'll take, was that 200? Yeah, I put 1,200 into him. And again, if we don't get David Booth, I think we recruited a middle linebacker last year too. So, um, I think we're good. I think we're good, man. Mr. Bones, appreciate that, man. Hey, listen, we've got 68 people in the building right now. Make sure you hit that thumbs up for your boy one time. Just hit that thumbs up, man. It's free. All you got to do is just pop, smash that thumbs up. All right, here we go. Let's go to signing day. It's a big, big signing day, man. A lot of good players that we're looking to get. Whew. How many think, How many do you guys think we're going to get? I'm not even going to look at the screen. I say we're going to get at least five. Five out of the seven. Yo, Matic, appreciate you, my dude. I think we'll get five out of the seven. I'm trying not to look at the screen. I want to be like, ah. <laughs> so I'm just watching chat. I'm just watching you guys. I would love to get all seven. It'll suck because I have to go cut some players, but okay. Let's look and see what we got. Oh, come on, man. Oh. Come on. Really, Shane Young? T and J was good, my boy. We got three commits. Three out of the seven. Sheesh. All right, let's look and see, man, because I feel like we should have got Shane. Drop one today. Listen, man, I got a lot of rec like a lot of recording I got to do as soon as we get done with this live stream. I got to get two Panthers games recorded, three A&M games recorded, and then I got to do some other stuff for my other channels too, man. So I got a lot to record today. All right, let's see what happened. Harrington, he doesn't even sign. He signs with nobody. John Rodriguez does not sign with anybody. Shane Young, 300 points? Come on, man. Really? 300 points? We would have had to put about close to 3,000 on him, man. Dang. TJ Lawson, oh, we didn't even see. He just, he just committed to Penn State. Like, Penn State offered, he was like, cool, I'm out. Navy swooped in, got Shane Johnson. Adam Williams is headed to UTSA. But we got we got James Riley. We got David Booth. And we got Jamie Brown. Listen, I think this is a uh I think this is a solid recruiting class this year, man. What's your other channels? Uh so I have a Let's Play channel that I'm i I'm still working on, man. I gotta find some walkthroughs that I wanna play. 
Uh, and then I have a GM t- uh, GM channel where I do rebuilds. So I got to record some stuff today. Um, I have a vlog channel with my family that I do that we upload once to twice a week. Um, and then I also edit my wife's videos and my son's videos. He's starting to get into gaming too. So, uh, you know, we're just, we're, we're a bunch of content creators around this house, man. Yeah, I do have gaming channels. How do two people just not sign? Right. Hopefully they walk on, man. I'll be interested to see if they walk on. So we finished with the 81st recruiting class in the country. Um, 18 commits, 11 three stars, seven two stars. So we're starting to move up, man. We're starting to move up. You feel I should combine certain channels? No, because uh, especially with like the Let's Play channel, uh, people who watch walkthroughs don't necessarily watch sports games. And with the GM stuff, I could bring it here on this channel, but I feel like it'll get too crowded on this channel. I feel like it'll get too congested. Um, let's see who's ahead of us in conference. South Alabama, 79th. Um, New Mexico. Wow. Oh, they're in the Mountain West. Let's see. Georgia State. They got a four-star. Yikes. 22 new recruits. A-State. A-State got the best player on the board, by the way. They got the best player on the board. I think he was the number one player in the country. There's 81 people in here, man. Appreciate you guys coming through. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you smash that thumbs up button on this live stream, man. Let me know that you guys were here. Uh, let's see who else. Ooh, we're starting to lag a little bit there. Um, uh, Arkansas, they get the 22nd rank recruiting class four four stars. Anybody else up here? Try to see if anybody else in our division or our conference was up here. Nope. Who had the number one recruiting class? Shocker. The Clemson Tigers. The Clemson Tigers. All right, man. So solid, solid recruiting class. I'm excited to see what these guys can do. A lot of these guys are going to be called on early to come in and make an impact. Um. Yeah, this team is going to have to rely heavy on the defense. I don't know about that one, man. I think we've got some players on the offense side of the ball that's going to um, that's going to help us out a lot. It's going to help us out a lot. All right, position changes. Things are about to get interesting, fellas. So let's start out. We got our athlete here. This is Mark Lawson, seventy-one overall. Now, if we put him at free safety, he goes up to a 73. If we put him at corner, he's a 71. Let me see something real quick. Free safety right now, we've got Nathan Johnson, which I think I'm going to move to. So let's move him. We're going to move him to outside linebacker. Uh, Yeah, I'm putting him at outside linebacker free I let's see okay he doesn't change he goes down okay so we can move Nathan Johnson to strong safety at corner these guys are gonna go up Davis and Prince are gonna go up I think we got to put him at corner for now. I think we have to. What is he out of running back? He's a 71 overall running back. Yo, Big C, watch some of Danny's clubhouse. Dude, your boy is a natural. If any of your channels take off, it could be his. <laughs> yeah, man. My, he loves the camera, man. He loves the camera. I appreciate you checking out his videos. All right. So let's talk about it, y'all. 
Let's talk about it. Randy Thomas the second. He's a 63 overall quarterback, right? If we move him to running back, he takes a huge dip. He goes to a 54 overall. Now, the interesting thing is if we keep him at, if we move him to running back, hold on, let's do that. I can't, I can't move him yet because he'll throw off his awareness. Well, it's already trash, but um, he's gone this year. Um, at running back for next year, we've got three studs, man. I think these three guys are going to – Gonzalez, Smith, and Keys, they're all going to get touches next year. They're all going to have their specific packages. You know what I mean? Um, but if I move Randy over there, I feel like we would have to redshirt him to allow him to grow in the running back position. And I don't know if we want to – he's 6'3", 215. Is that good size for a running back? I don't know. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Receiving group looks great. We look strong here. I don't know who these two guys are. Definitely didn't recruit these guys. Wow. Okay. Just adding people to the board. Tight end, he's going to be a monster next year. 6'5", 255. Dude is going to be a beast. Walton comes in. He's the best left tackle. Simpson Brown. Can Thomas play tight end or receiver? Okay, we'll look at that next. Move him over to left. We're good there. Carrington. Uh, we need a right tackle. Okay. I had Vince Smith playing right tackle last year. And we had Meyer playing inside, I think. We keep it like that. Right. So I think we have to keep him at quarterback, yo. I think we have to keep him at quarterback, and we just have to, like, put – uh, put a package together for him. I want to put him. What is he going to be at a D tackle? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We might have just found another good D tackle, y'all. We might have just found another good D tackle. We are stacked at D tackle. These two are going to get cut, probably. Yeah, these three probably. Uh, okay. Ooh. Booth comes in as better linebacker, and we know that's not true. Rob Thomas is going to be cornerstone of that linebacking group. I'm probably going to cut these two. Yeah, we're deep this year. Okay. So, let's see. RT. We put him at running back. He's a 54. At wide receiver, he's a 41. I, I just I, I think he has to stay at quarterback and we just have to have a package for him. Now the interesting part is these three. Taylor, Robertson, and Johnson. These three are going to battle it out for the starting position, I think. Rob or uh, Randy could come in and and steal it, but I just don't see how because the like Taylor and Robertson, their arms are really good, especially Robertson. I like him a lot. Six five two nineteen. That's like ideal size quarterback for me. Eighty four seventy eight two. LJ seventy eight seventy. We're in trouble, guys. <laughs> we've got we've got a lot of good like solid players. This year. It's a good it's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. All right. Are we done making moves here? Let's see. Oh, this is the guy I wanted to move to DN. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. That D line is going to be nice next year. That defensive line is going to be nice. 
Keep him at QB then. Johnson at QB if his arm is decent. Yeah. Our D-line is going to be nice. I'm going to have to put him on a weight program, though. Charles Parks is going to have to go on that weight program. He's kind of light in the butt. Did he have 66 catching? LJ, 76 speed, 82 acceleration, 72 break tackle, 66 catching. He could play tight end. 6'1", 215, though. He's small. He could play wide out. And neither of your sophomore QBs are going to be able to move like LJ or RT. Right. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we're in a we're in a interesting spot right now. Because these two can run. They can scramble. They can get outside the pocket. These two are your prototypical, you know, stand in the pocket quarterbacks. My concern is if one of them starts, the other one's going to transfer. Okay, so these guys transferred in. These guys transferred in. My thing, I wanted to get another quarterback to go with Randy, and that's where Johnson came in. I was not expecting these two to transfer in. We, I think if you go back and watch that first offseason stream, Everybody was shocked to see uh, these two quarterbacks on the board. LT, what's good, man? No problems, bro. It's all good. I appreciate you being here. So, you know, we might have over-recruited, but it's a good problem to have, man. And we've got an entire spring ball to figure out who's going to be the starter. Unless sophomore QBs have the prototypical arm, start the best thrower, and RT on zone read packages to stretch the defense. That's the plan. That's the plan. And I, like I said, I think our run game is going to be a lot better with these three backs, man. I think we're good, guys. I think we are good. Wait, wait, wait. Let me look at something. Who is out here? So Carrington and Rhodes. I, th- I think I had Vin- yeah I had Vince playing outside. Meyer played inside. Um, do I have another tackle I can put over here? Yeah. Woods is probably gonna get the start at left tackle. Trey Simpson started last year. Can Rhodes play tackle? No, he goes down. What about Carrington? Can he? 6'3", 306? Nope, he goes down. I think we had to kick Meyer out there. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, we're ready to go. What's up next? Training? Yes. Okay. This is going to be huge here, man. This is going to be a, a large tail, like a, a big deal. Uh, because if any of these quarterbacks' arms get stronger, it's just going to make the decision tougher. All right, man. Let's check it out. <laughs> We are in trouble, boys. <laughs> All right. David Hunt, best player on the board. 78 over or 83 overall D tackle, man, in his senior year. So here's where everybody wants to look first at the quarterback position. Reuben Taylor comes in as a 78 overall with 75 awareness. No, no mobility whatsoever. Oh. Guys, look at these, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. 
84 throw power, 85 accuracy. And then you've got Todd Robertson, 86 throw power, 83 accuracy. LJ's arm got a little better. RT's arm got better. <laughs> what, what am I going to do? RT got faster, too. 80, 85 speed now. He got a plus six to awareness. Yo. Sheesh. Yeah, Ruben Taylor looks like he may be your guy. I don't know. I got to see how they play. I got to see how they play. Uh, running backs. Okay. Justin goes up plus four to a 74 overall. He got faster, which was much needed. 85 speed. Uh, 87 acceleration. Jonathan Keys. He got faster too. 94 speed. I want his agility to be better, though. 88 acceleration. Yeah, Dave, that's what I'm thinking, too, man. That's what I'm thinking, too. Uh, these guys, McNamara probably get cut. Wide receiver. There we go, boys. There we go. Brock got better. 86 speed. 82 acceleration. Let's look at these catching stats, though. 77 catch. AJ. Okay, AJ. I see you, my boy. 84 catching now. Keith Miller's up to a 78 catch. Catching traffic is up. Route running. Yeah. The locker room is saying Todd Robertson is a leader. <laughs> okay, man. Hey, the wide receiving room is looking nice. I like how these guys are coming along. Vic is Vic isn't really progressing the way I thought he would though. 90 speed now at least. 66 catch. He's kind of getting left behind by these other three guys. AJ Thompson like he might be pushing for that other receiver spot. You think Ruben should be the guy here? Okay. DJ, David Jones, man. I'm excited to get him on the field. 78 overall, 84 speed, 79 acceleration. Uh, he can catch, 92 catching. Bro. Oh, my God. 76 spec, 81 route running, 75 jumping, and I think he can block too, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. This kid is... This kid is going to be a monster. 6'5", 259. The coach can't bench his own son. Why can't he? He benched him earlier this year. Tyler Hill got better. DJ Ryan was another guy we picked up last year. So we've got three solid. We got two solid tight ends and one that's just like he's going to be a dangerous weapon for us, man. My bad. Let me hit the mic. Uh, Woods goes up to a 67. Uh, did his blocking get better too? Yeah, 76 and 74. 75 impact, cool. Uh, Trey goes up to a 68. I want him to get stronger, 78 strength. And, oh yeah, the pass block, we should be good. He's got trash impact block though. 81 pass, 73 run. What if RT2 transfers? It's not going to happen. I wouldn't I wouldn't let that happen. Uh Eddie Valentine is a 72 overall now. Um let's see what he's looking like. 77, 77, 76, cool. Offensive line is getting better. Uh he's not going to play, so we're not worried about it. We might have a battle at right tackle this year. Meyer and Smith Let's see. Smith might have the edge. Yeah. I mean, this run block is cool, but, like, he cannot pass block. He's going to give up a lot of sacks on the outside. I think Vince Smith moving to right tackle will be a good look, and then Carrington could play right guard for us. I'm going to need a QB with speed before it's over with. I already know, man. 
Uh, Burrell goes up four. He's a 57 overall. Seth Williams, his senior year, he goes up to a 71 overall. Uh, let's hope he can have a solid year. 77 finesse, 70 block shed. I got to get Dickens in the game more, man. He's got 78 block shed. Pursuit, play rec. RD tackle spot is going to be nice. I, lo- I like RD tackle spot. David Hunt in his senior year, 83 overall. And you got Steven Wilson, the transfer. He goes up to a 71 overall. Oh, my God. These st- oh, my God. We should be getting off of blocks. He can't tackle worth a crap, but, like, we should be getting off of blocks beautifully, man. Rashad Young, he'll be getting some playing time, too. He had a solid year for us. We're deep at the tackle. Uh, Tyson Kidd goes up to a 71 overall. He gets faster, 85 acceleration, 64 catch. Might get some picks, 80 tackle now, 73 block shot, 74 pursuit. Solid. Rob is a 65 now. He's a 65. Wow. I figured he would have went up a little bit more than that, but 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 81 agility, 70 tackle. He's he's getting he's getting all these tackles and he has 70 tackle. I think this this is the year where Robert Thomas takes that next step and becomes like an elite linebacker. Watch what I say. Uh, James Ryan, that's good to see. He's up 73 overall now. 86 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 agility, 77 block shed. Yeah, he's uh, he's due for a big year too. 74 tackle. Cool. <coughs> Chauncey Crab got faster, so he's up to an 88 speed. This is the guy that just transferred in. Oh, my God, the coverage ability. The coverage ability for this kid, man. Bro, he's going to be, in two years, he's going to be our top, one of our top corners, for sure. But let's look at our top corner right now. It's Mike Davis, uh, 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 57 awareness. Um, Here we go. He goes up to 80 man, 78 zone. Cool. Mark Prince goes up plus three on his man coverage and plus three on his zone coverage. Uh, he gets a plus three to play res. Is that play rec or press? Did he get faster too? That's what I was worried about. He kept getting burnt last year. 85 acceleration, 93 speed. Cool. Jason Davis goes up. So I think with the guy we're bringing in, the athlete we just brought in, Davis and Prince, we've got a solid three cornerbacks. I like that. Ken Anderson goes up plus four. He's a 67 now, 86 speed. What's his zone looking like now? He can catch too. 73 catch. Tackle is cool. 67 zone. Ouch. Steve Brown, 87 press, but he can't cover though. And then strong safety. These guys won't. I mean, Jay has had a solid career so far, man. He's was second on the team last year in tackles. I don't know, man. I think that freshman might – those two freshmen might push for playing time. Can we play FAU and Boca Raton? Bring some real memories back. Was his awareness that bad? It is that bad. 57. But you know what, man? He played, even though his awareness is bad, he played really good for us. He played really good for us. Um, So I think those freshmen might really push for playing time next year. Clark goes up plus five. 76 power, 76 accuracy. Okay. Moore goes up plus six. 76 kick power. He might handle kickoff return or kickoffs. Bro, we're okay. I like how the team is coming together now, man. I like how the team is coming together. This 
makes me nervous though. I I don't want to make the wrong decision with these with this position. I agree with uh with Matic. I feel like Randy should go in and be the starter this year. But these two guys, I, I think they're just too good to sit on the bench. I didn't realize Taylor had the number two. I'm going to have to get him off of that and give that to Randy. Um, These two guys, man, they're just too good to have just sitting there. I think we can make some noise in the Sun Belt this year. I think we can. Um, I'm going I, – I, when I get to the end of the stream, I'll tell you guys my thought process behind everything moving forward. Okay, so training results are good. Now we got to cut some players. Red shirt RT2, move him to safety, and he could play D with his brother. Nah. He's an offensive player, man. If anything – he would move to running back, but it just – I don't think – oh, my God, we got to cut 17 people. Sheesh. All right, first person that's got to go, Billy Wilson. He's out. He's transferring to uh, Arkansas State, so we'll see him in a couple years. T- give Taylor five for the memes. Uh, Sorry, Mr. McNamara, you are out of there. Bro, look at this. This running back group is so good. Oh, I'm excited. Throw the other two quarterbacks on certain formations. That's all, brother. Yeah. Uh, Eric Roberson. I have to let you go, my man. 49 overall. I can't. Oh, wait. That's Florida. Port. Ugh. I don't want to lose my Florida pipeline. That sucks. Can I cut him? Yeah, Barrett Higgins could get cut. Joe Barnes had a good. I have no clue who these two guys are. Victor Boyd, 83 speed. Well, let's do it this way. 83 speed, 67 catch. The release is trash. And then Darren Strong from Louisiana, 86 speed, 71 acceleration, 68 catching. Okay. Yeah, you can you can exit. I'll keep strong. I can redshirt him. Tight end. Honestly, I should have moved one of these tight ends to fullback. Now that I think about it, but uh, Troy King, I appreciate you, man. You had a great first season for us, but you got to go. Mills, you got to go. Brown, you got to go. Both redshirt sophomores. Woo, they're both, they're the same player. (laughs) They're the same player. Uh, I'm going to go with Thompson. Nah, I'm going to go with Rivero. Rivero. Uh, also, we could give Taylor five for me. Throw the other two. Okay. So I'm caught up on those. Seven, nine players left, guys. Uh, Mike Lewis, you got to go. Offensive line is looking solid. Lance Singleton, he's got to go. 51 overall. He's never going to see the field. Uh, David Nelson, he's got to go. He's never going to see the field. D tackle. We can cut a lot of these D tackles now. Uh, Alvin William, Alvin, Alvin James can go. Brandon Black can go. Christian Givens can go. I think we're good. I want to hold on to Jason Burns. He played great last year. Uh, Brent Davis, bye. 49 overall. Got to go. Uh, Joe Murphy. William Thomas. I 
They both suck. Uh, Murphy can go. He's a junior. And Frank Woods can go. That wasn't too bad. We're down to 70. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Look at the the cornerbacks now are so much better, bro. Um, so we've got 80 man there, 86 man here. So I think Davis and Lawson will probably play outside. I move Prince inside. Oh man, Dave Kevin Davis could play. Four fourth corner for us. Brown, I could probably red shirt. And then I can get rid of Joey Douglas. I can get rid of Baldwin. Oh, Travis Baldwin was solid. He made no Travis Gibson was the guy who made the plays. Right. Jason Davis, we're good. He can stay on the team. Okay, we're solid there. Free safety. Adam Keller got to go. Steve Brown, got to go. Oh, I can't. Jared Smith, he can go. All right, man. Whoa, I'm missing. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I'm like, I'm missing a freshman, McIntosh. (coughs) All right, so we free up four spots, man. Sheesh. Listen, man, it's all this. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited, y'all. I am excited. The backstories are already flying through my head right now. Custom conferences. I don't think we need to change anything. Let's look and see. Man, we've been up for almost two hours, man. I appreciate you guys. We've been holding steady over 60 people in the chat. Uh, I haven't looked at the thumbs up yet. What are the thumbs up looking like? Yo, so could Beeb won the fight and then announce he's retiring? Really? I'm just going through my notifications. How are we looking on our thumbs up, y'all? Seventy-eight thumbs up. I appreciate y'all, man. Go on, mix it up a little. Get- Sorry, my phone is very loud. You have okay. I don't care about that. <clears throat> um, custom conferences. I want to add. Was this? The 10 teams. I want to add another team. I really want to add another team. Um, that way we can have like a Sunbelt. A Sunbelt uh, conference championship. But I don't know what team I would add. Because I think everybody's kind of like locked in where they're at. I don't know. I think I might just leave it alone. Because I can't think of somebody who, like, Middle Tennessee State, they were already in the Sun Belt at one point. They moved. Uh, North Texas. Is there a vid where your team is going against Arkansas State? Yes. We played them twice. We played A-State twice and lost both games. The second season, man, it was a lot closer. FAU's at 86. Uh, That's man, there's a lot of teams. These squads are like really building on this game. That's what's so crazy, man. Like you start getting. It's a later in these dynasties, man. And you'll have like a small school that's like a 91 overall. You know what I mean? Like they're, they have a ridiculous, uh, like they've done a ridiculous job recruiting or a ridiculous job, um, 
with training. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, man. Uh, first up, I know everybody wants to be a uh, – no, Pine Bluff is not in here. Um, I know everybody wants to be a custom recruit. So at the end of season three going into season four, that's when I plan on doing custom recruits. Um, you have to do – like how I want to do it, um, if you're a Patreon, you get first dibs. If, if you look down in my description, there's a Patreon link. If you want to join Patreon, you can. Uh, I understand that some people just can't do it, and I'm not pushing anybody to do it. But if you want to be a custom recruit, that's probably the first way to do it. Then we have a Discord, and uh, there's a lot of people in Discord. I think we're up to 100 people in Discord now. And if you want to be a custom recruit, you can go into Discord, but you have to be active in Discord. You can't just join my Discord and say, hey, I'm here, and then expect me to pick you to be a custom recruit. That's not how that works. Uh, so that's way number two. And the third way you can join the channel, uh, there's an option to join the channel. Again, I'm not asking you to pay. You're already subscribed, and I appreciate that enough, man. That's like that's huge that you guys take out the time to watch my videos. I, I'm still blown away by that. Uh, but that's the three ways that I'm looking to do custom recruits going into season four. Uh, for season three, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. We've got a lot of great players. Uh, we've got a lot of recruits that are going to get a lot of playing time. The quarterback battle is going to be a big, big, big storyline going into next season. Um, so I'm thinking the first episode might be a spring game with some backstory to it. Uh, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Um, but if it's a spring game, you're going to see all four quarterbacks. You're going to see uh, the new look offense. You're going to see the new look defense. Uh, you're going to see coach talking to players. Um, OSU did great today. They did amazing. I guess they took my tradition of recruiting, man. They learned from me. <laughs> North Texas would make sense travel wise. Yeah. But I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. So Tuesday's video might be a spring game where you get to see all the players, you get to get the new storylines. Um you'll get the schedule. I never put the cut I never put schedule on a live stream because I want to make sure that uh you know I'm picking the right games and you know, I'm going to make it tough. We're definitely going to play Arkansas. We're going to play uh, a couple other teams that are higher up. We could start really playing recruit like uh, ranked teams, like low ranked teams, like in the 20s, uh, because I think we'll be able to hang with them. Uh, but I, I'm excited for season three. Um, yeah, this was, I think this was going to be a big year for the squad, man. Uh, right now, looking at the team, I kind of have to agree with Colin. I can see us going seven and five. Uh, I can see us maybe making some noise in the Sun Belt. I just have to look and see. Arkansas State is looking stacked going into next season, man. Especially with a five-star recruit off jump, that's going to be tough. But uh, I'll get going on all this stuff as soon as I log out of here. Get off of this live stream. We've been up for an hour and fifty minutes, man, and we've done a, a lot. We've done a lot. Uh, but let me know, man, who the spring game is a must. Lots of turnover from last year, so we need to see how they perform early. Facts. I, I agree, Jay. Well, I think that's what's going to happen. I think we'll have um, a spring game where you'll see, like, starters versus starters, second team versus second team, and so on. So uh, that's the plan for Tuesday. Then Thursday we'll get into the season uh, with the first game, and then next Saturday will be the second game. Uh Paper chasing, uh, if you missed what I said, man, I'm not doing custom recruits this year. It'll be next year. Uh, RT will definitely have his own package for sure. Uh, I don't know. I think, like I said, man, I think the squad is going to be a lot better. Uh, I think we're going to have some people that are going to be upset at playing time and that are going to look to probably transfer again. So... The quarterback, the quarterback controversy is going to be 
awesome. I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. Yo, these guys' arms are ridiculous. We've come a long way, though, guys, since season one. We have come a long way. Uh, but, yo, that's going to wrap it up for the stream, man. We are set to go for season three. These boys are going to try to make some noise in the Sunbelt Conference next year. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Before we get off, let me know what you guys think. What record do you think we'll have uh, going into next season? I'm interested to see what you guys think about the roster. I think the defense will be a lot better. Um, we do, we'll do. we have some freshmen playing, some freshmen playing uh, key positions again. Yeah, we've definitely come a long way, man. Think about it. We were 0-12. That's the first time I, I've lost – Every game I've ever played on this game. Even my Grambling series, my first year, I was 8-4, and four, I think, or something like that. I think we could go to a bowl this year. I think it'll be a small bowl, but I think we can get into a bowl game this year. 5-7. and seven. Five to 7 wins. I could see us in an 8-4 and four team realistically, 6-6. Six and six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like a 7-5. Like a and five. Need Ozzy Zunigan at DN. Y'all with these creative players, man. Next year, next season is going to be fun trying to create you guys. Do you guys want to be – let me ask this. For next year, um, do you guys want to be your own custom recruits and I have to try to recruit you? Or do you want to be uh, the recruits that I'm bringing in? Seven and five. I can see that. Listen, anything over six wins, I think, man. I don't think we're going undefeated. Um, because I, I don't think the sliders will allow me to go undefeated. But I think like six and six, seven and five, um, as we just keep climbing up. In fact, I need to see what's my coach goal for next year. Target is seven wins next year. So seven and five, we have to go seven and five. Seven and five is realistic, but with how many close games you've had, you might able to slip up onto nine and three. You want to? You want me to recruit you guys? I can do that. Uh, the offensive scheme is going to be key. I got all kind of ideas. I need to cop a PS3, shake my head and laugh. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I I can see it's going seven and five. I'm I'm not picking a playbook this. I'm not. I'm done switching playbooks. Um, I think that kind of hurts us. Uh, shout out to Steel on Sticks. Appreciate the follow, man. Um, but I think. Every time, every year, switching playbooks it hurts the team. So um, I'm going to kind of go through and see which playbook fits fits us best, and then we'll go from there. Uh, usually, I run the Ohio State offense, but I'm down to try something new, and I think I'm just going to go base four three defense, um, or or four three multiple. Somebody suggested that I'm down for that too. We've got a lot of guys that could play on defense that could play a lot of different positions. So. Um, yeah, I like how this team is shaping up, man. I think we're doing a solid job recruiting. Uh, this next recruiting class is going to be a big deal because a lot of guys will be juniors. A lot of the bigger guys that have been here are going to be juniors. We've got a couple seniors that we're losing. So season three and season four are going to be uh, very big, man. And like I said before, somebody asked me how long I plan on running this series. As long as you guys watch it, that's how long – I'm going to keep running it, man. I would love to do uh, like what Mr. Hurricane did with 14 seasons, man. That's that's impressive. I think my longest has been 10. Um, but I don't want to get to a point where it's like we're winning national championship after national championship after national championship, and then it just gets boring. So uh, if we can get to 10 plus, I'll be down for it. I hope you guys are excited, man. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you follow me on Twitter at I am Big C. That's where I keep up to date with everything and in Discord. So make sure you guys join the Discord. It's free. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything in Discord. 
Uh, also, there's a Patreon link too. And we're going to have A&M merch coming soon. I know I keep saying that. Uh, I ordered some samples. They should be here by the end of the month. So I just want to make sure that it's good stuff before I tell you guys about it. Uh, we've got T-shirts and hoodies, uh, masks, um, stickers, cell phone cases, all kinds of stuff, man. So uh, get ready for that. And, man, I'm, I'm hyped, yo. Please bring Thomas to the NFL. Uh, about that, I, I plan on bringing a lot of my guys to the Panthers franchise, man. Um you know that that's that's part of the reason why I brought back my dynasty series. Uh, I I don't mind the draft classes Madden has. It makes it tough to find prospects, but uh, yeah, it's 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 going to be great to see all these guys kind of move up in their next part of their careers. Dual prod, what's good, man? Wayne Big C got mask. Yeah, man. Uh, we've got A and M mask that'll be. Available to purchase. We've got a and stickers, T-shirts. Uh, Matic, I haven't announced starting QB yet, man. I'll do that <clears throat> in the spring game. In the spring game, you guys will see all four quarterbacks, see how they perform. Each one will get a chance to run with the first-team offense. Uh, I think the defense is pretty set. I think we'll have a couple position battles on defense. Uh but one like you'll definitely see a lot more storylines going into season three. You'll see, uh, I think you'll see Robert Thomas. Um, you'll see Robert Thomas step up and be a leader a lot more in season three. We've only heard from him once out of the two seasons, so I think this season you'll see a lot more of him. Randy will have a, a bigger storyline with the other quarterbacks. Uh, yeah, went a bit too hard with nerfing Hiddens. Yeah, facts. Uh, you want to buy merch? I got you, man. As soon as I get my samples in and I'm able to look at it and check stuff out, I'm going to uh, I'm going to post the link. And you guys, I made it affordable. I don't want to rip you guys off, man. So I made all the merch affordable. So that'll be coming soon. Uh, it was it should have definitely been more hidden in the draft. Uh, you talk about Madden, yeah. Uh, you think RT too? I'm not against RT2 playing, man. I just think with the other two quarterbacks, Robertson and the other cat, it's just whew, it's tough, man. I, I, RT is definitely a key ingredient to the offense. He's definitely a key ingredient to the offense. And I'm really excited about my young receiver core in my franchise. I'll t- I'm excited for my Panthers franchise. I hope you guys are watching that, too. Panthers franchise has been fun, man. We did a lot. We drafted Justin Fields. Um, we're going to start getting players from A&M in there probably next season. Yeah, because Hunt's a senior. So you'll start seeing more A&M players starting to migrate into the to the Madden franchise. Um, but the way this stuff is going, man, with all these uploads that I'm doing every day, <laughs> we're going to be right back here in a month for another off season. Uh, the Madden stuff is a little bit longer because the season's longer, but we're having fun, man. I watch your videos. I'm caught up. Logan, I appreciate that, man. Keith Miller said he don't care who starts as long as, as he doubles his numbers. RTS, the speed brother, you will need to, uh, that every game. Even if they are both normal, I think they can develop to be. St- oh, you're talking about your wide house, Nick. I, listen, like I said, RT is definitely, RT is not going anywhere. Randy's not going anywhere. He's going to be a key part of the offense. Uh, As far as starting, though, I just – I don't know. I don't know. What I am thinking, though, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Randy's a junior. The other two guys are sophomores, and LJ's a sophomore, right? I think that's how it is. I think that's how it is. Right, there's sophomores, sophomore, junior. So what could end up happening, if I'm honest with you guys, uh, say Randy wins the starting job, right? I think we redshirt Larry Johnson, and then one of these guys is the backup for Randy. Or 
one of these guys wins the starting job. One of the other – so say Taylor wins the starting job. That means Robertson transfers, right? RT is Taylor's backup. Johnson gets redshirted. Same here. Robertson wins the starting job. Taylor transfers out. Randy's the backup. LJ gets redshirted. So that's – in my head, I kind of picture that happening. I just don't – like if we lose out on LJ – um. I don't want to. I don't want him just to sit there. You know what I mean? If he red shirts, that means he's getting better. That means he is training, and that means he could come back as a red shirt sophomore. And in his junior year, he might get the starting job. So I don't know. Daniel, appreciate you coming through, man. Love the stream, Big C. But I gotta go to bed. Little boy has rugby first thing. It's a rookie day and at uni over here, I will see it. Man, I appreciate you coming through, man. Even if Thomas doesn't start, the needs playing time for sure. He needs playing time. Yeah, facts. Facts, man. But, Joe, fellas, I got to wrap it up because your boys got to get to some uh, recording for the rest of the week. Thank you guys so much for coming through today, man. We we had fun. I had a lot of fun with y'all. Uh, I, just get, I hope you guys understand the insight that I'm thinking for – uh, the dynasty moving ahead again, make sure you're following me on Twitter, join the discord, uh, check out Patreon, check out all that stuff, man. And, uh, we will, uh, be back on the field Tuesday morning for the spring game. And it should be a lot of fun, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys, man. Have a great day. Two fingers in the air. Peace. Larry Post's red shirt could be monstrous. Facts, Harold. Facts.